Hello, my favorite kindergartners. It is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys doing today? I am ready for lesson number nine. Are you? All right, you don't need anything for today's lesson. You just have to follow along with me. If you do have Unifix cubes or something like that at your house, you can use those for sure. Um, but, and you can also always use a whiteboard if you want, but you don't really need anything for today. Just follow along. We're going to work on something new today called hidden partners. Now, in my experience, I have found that my students love talking about hidden partners. When we talk about hidden partners, we're talking about how um, numbers can be broken down and that inside of numbers are partners. Remember when we did the math uh, popping balloon game and we said, okay, now show me another way. When we put up five fingers and I say, show me another way, and you show me three and two, those are hidden partners of five. Three and two make five. So they're hiding inside of the number five, three and two, hidden partners. So that's what we mean when we talk about hidden partners, all right? We're gonna do a couple of them today. So we'll start off with some fluency. We'll do a quick warm up. We'll do our concept development, and then I will show you um, your Google form and exit ticket. All right, let's go. Module number one, lesson nine. <laughs> all right, here we go. I can find hidden partners within three, four, and five. Let's do it. But first, warm up. All right, we did this one last time, but this one's a little different. It's called Five Frame Peekaboo. I'm going to show you my five group cards, but only for a quick second. This is what I do in the classroom. I flash it really, really quick. You're going to quickly count the dots and then blur out when you know how many. All right, okay, here we go, ready? So I'm gonna click this blue rectangle and it's only gonna show them for a second. So you gotta be ready. You got your detective eyes on? All right, let's do it. One, <laughs> next one. Ready? One again. All right, next one. Three. Do you remember this is what this is called when you look with your eyes and you don't have to count? Supertizing. Good. All right, next one. Two. One. Good one. Three, awesome. Ooh, let's do that one again. I'm gonna move my video. Four, good. And last one. Two, good work. All right, now this is a fun one. I'm going to roll the die and we'll count the number of dots that we rolled and then we'll find the matching number card and move it into the box. We'll have to play this game three times, okay? Here we go. Tell me when to roll. Roll. Ooh, that's a six. We don't have the number six down here, so let's roll again. How many? Four. Here's the number four. I'm going to put it right there. All right, two more times. One. So I'm going to take my one and put it right there. One more time. One again. Matt, I don't have to change anything. All right, good work. All right, now we're going to get right into our concept development today. Ready to go? We are going to be builders today. So we're gonna count these, um, this cube tower, and then we'll break it into parts to show hidden partners. So count with me, how many do we have? One, two, 
three, four, five. This is a tall tower, huh? Five vertical cubes stacked into a tower. Now, um, I wanna break it to find hidden partners, and then I'm gonna put the two pieces right inside this, these two boxes. All right, you ready? I'm just gonna start with one, and I'm gonna move it over here. Then I'm gonna move over these ones. And I have to be sure that I move all of the cubes. If I leave some cubes in there, it will not represent the number correctly and we'll get the wrong answer. So here I have one and four, five. Remember I said, show me another way. We have one and four hidden partners of five. Can we find a different hidden partner of five? Sure we can. Let's just move one of these over. Because remember when we talked about how if we arrange objects in a different way, it doesn't change how many are, are there total. So I just moved one cube up into this box. Now I know I still have five, but let's see what hidden partner we got. Two and one, two, three. Two and three. Five. Cool. Now I'm going to drag this box up here and let's do that again. Now we have three and two. That's called a turnaround fact. We just turned around our numbers from two and three before and now we have three and two. And if I drag one more up here, it's another turnaround fact, four and one. So our hidden partners five are three and two, four and one, one and four, two and three. Those are our hidden partners of five. Good work. Now, let's try to find hidden partners of four. All right, so let's break up one, two, and then I'll put these two over here. So I know I have four, and now I have two and two, and I could do what we did before. Now how many do I have? Three and one, hidden partners. Good work, now this is a number three. I'm gonna drag one in here and put the other two down here. So now with three, I have one and two hidden partners. And if I put this one up here, I have two and one turnaround fact hidden partners. All right, <laughs> good work. Let me show you your exit ticket for the day. I think you'll do a great job of it. This group is showing hidden partners of two gray dots and one white dot, two and one. How many dots all together? Twos. This group is showing hidden partners of three dots and three gray dots and one white dot. How many dots all together? Four. Oh, <laughs> anyway, whoa, <laughs> silly me. Well, that's a freebie for you. <laughs> now this is showing hidden partners of one and four. How many dots all together? Not gonna give that one away. <laughs> and you'll choose how many. All right, kiddos. So today we did something new, hidden partners. It's where we just think about what numbers are hiding inside other numbers. We're gonna keep on working on this a lot, but I thought I would just give you a quick introduction and hopefully it made sense for you. It's kind of hard to do through a video, but I did my best and I hope that um, we can keep on working harder and harder in the next couple of lessons to understand this concept a little bit more. All right, bye kiddos. Adios.